Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe Word of the Day. I'm Denise Pass with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Deliverance is not just escaping our troubles. It is finding victory right in the midst of them. Read today in the book of Psalms, chapter 71 through 73, and the verse of the day is 71, verse 2. Deliver me in your righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline your ear to me and save me. The word of the day is escape. It is the Hebrew word palat. It means save or deliver, to bring into security or safety. Of the 27 times this word occurs in the Old Testament, 19 of those are in the book of Psalms. This Psalm of David is believed to be from his later years. The verse of the day contained in Psalm 71 verses one through three is almost identical to the beginning of Psalm 31 verse one through three. It says, in you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong refuge to which I may resort continually. You have given the commandment to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. David appeals to God to rescue him, but that rescue is God's presence as his refuge. David listed these descriptions of God as his escape. God was his hope. God was his trust. God was his refuge. God's righteousness was his escape. God was his comfort and strength. Our culture seeks to escape life's mundanity or life's struggles by numbing ourselves to that pain or trying to escape physically. But friends, that only deepens our pain. A temporary rescue is no rescue at all. God invites us to find our rescue in Him. Ways we can do this include studying His scripture in the specific area of struggle we are having, praying and crying out to Him, worshiping Him, being involved in Bible studies or fellowship in church to surround ourselves with God's people. Ultimately, God's rescue is eternal. Life's not going to look perfect here. But don't miss the opportunity to bring God glory in the imperfect, harsh places. Don't miss the opportunity to go on mission in those spaces to demonstrate God's grace to others around us. Then that place of pain becomes a treasure when we see how God used it in our lives. What is it that you need to escape right now? Sometimes going through that door of pain with Jesus and his living word enables us to see our circumstances differently. Don't run from God to the world's methods of escape. Run to him. Go with God and his precious word, friends. Join us tomorrow in the book of Proverbs.